Mina, come on, Jesus freaking gamer here. Joshua chapter eleven. There's a consistent theme, that I, so I'm going to be reading several verses, and then I'll get to the point. Starting at verse, doo -doo -doo, I'm going to start at verse nine. So Joshua did to them as the Lord had told him. He hamstrung their horses and burned their chariots with fire. Then we're going to skip over to verse fifteen. As the Lord had commanded Moses his servant, so Moses commanded Joshua. And so Joshua did. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord had commanded Moses. And then we're going to skip down to verse 23. So Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord had said to Moses. And Joshua gave it as an inheritance to Israel according to their divisions by their tribes. Then the land rested from war. The... So the Topic here is not just obedience, but continual obedience. If you go back over all the other chapters up to this point in Joshua, Joshua was continually obedient. He didn't just obey once or twice. And I'm sure the man made his mistakes. I'm sure he had to offer a few burnt offerings for sins and a few trespass offerings, sin offerings, etc. But his obedience was continual. His obedience was immediate. His obedience was wholehearted. He continually obeyed the Lord. They conquered a ton of land, not quite all of it, but they conquered a whole lot of it, and eventually that land had rest from war because Joshua was continually obedient. Life's throwing a lot of hard times in many people's way. There's some hard times mine and my dad's way if you've seen the last few videos. And the key to finding rest from those wars. I mean, Joshua fought a lot, okay? It wasn't just one or two battles, and they weren't small. But through continued obedience and continued fighting, eventually the land had rest from war. And Joshua lived to see that rest. If you want to be blessed, if you want to conquer, and if you want to see rest, if you want to bring peace in your life, then you are continually obedient to the Lord. You fight as he tells you to fight. You fight as long as he tells you to fight. You fight whoever and whatever he tells you to fight. And you fight until you're done. Like I said in another previous video, kind of a harsher video. Look bad. It's called Life's Tough. Get over it. You keep fighting. You keep pushing. You keep enduring. And in the end, you will be saved. Continual obedience. That's the key to blessing, to prosperity, to taking the promised land God wants you to have, whatever it may be, and for eventual rest and peace. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you guys. God bless.